How's practice? Went well. Practice went well. Uh, third downs, third medium, third long, third and short. Red zone, high red zone, low red zone. That was the main focus, but kicking game as always. And, uh, you know, just a few other things that we were working on, but for the most part, that was the focus of the day. How was the energy and then just how good. is the team doing mentally? Oh, uh, good. Good. They um, got a little feisty out there. Guys wanted, guys wanted to get after each other a little bit, which is, which is healthy. You talked about getting the running game going more this week. And have you given any thought to maybe giving Gus or, or Travis some more looks moving forward? No, I think we got the right backs in there. You know, I'm not saying Gus won't get any work because he's he's practiced well this week, so he may get some uh, some playing time. We'll, we'll, but I don't think there's an issue, you know, with the runners. You just got to create you know more space and, and uh, block better downfield. It's a minor thing, but Travis was named the captain. What was the what, what went into that? Well, he was special teams. Right. Yeah. Just, you know, we grade the film every week, and whoever gives uh, the best, or whoever, you know, we feel is captain worthy by his effort and his production. And really, um, not many true freshmen get chosen as a captain, because if it's close, we tend to go to seniority. But um, he's been doing it all year long, just covering kicks, covering punts, covering, uh, you know, just doing the things that we've been asking him to do on all the special teams. and. Um, and he does it every day in practice. Great attitude. He's off the field. He does everything. He you know, does everything right. So he's a guy that deserved to be rewarded for that. I know Mark. you mentioned the other day that, or yesterday, that you want to make sure these guys understand the history of this series and yeah. this rivalry. Um, you obviously being a former player here, have you heard from anybody as you guys are trying to get ready? I know no. they know you're busy, but no, no, they haven't. So yeah. you haven't heard from any of the no, no former players. I mean, Steve Walsh is here today. Just. Spent a little time, but uh, we, we haven't talked about him today. Coach, how well do you know Brian Curry Kelly? I don't know him well at all. Just know, you know, of him through watching him and you know, admiring his work. But a uh, great coach. The other thing is that, you know, Notre Dame, obviously, they have a lot of talent every year. Oh, yeah. Um, but it's the, the two and five record is not indicative of that. How, yeah. does, how and why does that happen well, sometimes? Well, there's just a lot of good football teams out there. And it's, it's not easy to win games. I mean, every game is a battle. Every game is a fight. Every game is a struggle. You know, and uh, like we've been saying, you know, everybody gives scholarships. Everybody has off-season programs. Everybody has scheme. Everybody, you know, has good coaches. Um, you know, so there's there's going to be times when that happens. I mean, you think your teams are similar in some ways? Uh, I don't know about that. I mean, we're similar in that everybody's going to have a battle royal every Saturday to try to get a victory. I mean, there's very few teams that are dominant out there. There's a lot of them that any given Saturday, uh, either either team can win, and that's for a lot of reasons. You know, a lot of Sometimes it's because of the youth of our guys. It's just young guys. You know, they, you know, sometimes they're up, sometimes they're down. You know, sometimes it's just having to do with injuries you gain along the way and the type of attrition you have in your program. And sometimes it may be just... Uh, how your schedule falls, and you're battling some really good teams in a, in a, in a big in a run, you know. So, I mean, there's there's a lot of reasons why. But, I mean, you look at Michigan State, one of the better teams uh, this the other day. I mean, how did how did that happen there? I mean, it happened because they play good teams, and uh, you just can't you can't you, you don't. There's very few teams that are going to line up and just whip you physically and beat you down. It's just it's a, it's a battle every week. I hit on it a little bit yesterday. Uh, have you? Uh, it's kind of like a missed opportunity that you won't get a, a chance to be in a chess match against uh, Brian Van Gore. Well, it's interesting. You know, Brian did coach for me, and I know a lot about what he did. And uh, you know, watching the tape, at least there's a familiar familiarity. But he, you know, he's familiar with me too. So I'm sure you know it'd have been, uh, you know, maybe relatively equal as far as having an idea of what the other person least likes to do. And, more than likely, you know, we'd have done something a little different for a curveball. I'm sure he would have too. Uh, but uh, you know, Brian, you just look at his record overall. He's he's a great coach, and a Rose Award winner, and um, just you know, things didn't work out. Last uh, question, Ray, guys. Sean, I was it Ray Sean, Gerald, Chad, and Sheldrick practice today. Um, how how are they looking? How are they progressing? Well, they practiced today, so that's good. <laughs> that's good. We'll get the we'll get the report out pretty quick.
Okay. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Yep.